Well, they hold the most precious cargo, but they can be a beast to install. That's right. You know it, parents, car seats. And a local CHP office says they're seeing more injuries and deaths because children are not properly restrained. KSBY's Erin Fay met with CHP Buellton about what they're seeing. She's live in the newsroom with those details. Hi, Erin. Good morning, Janelle. Good morning, Neil. The CHP officers say that oftentimes parents don't even realize that their children are not restrained. And the CHP officers recommend making sure that the harness on the car seat spans from armpit to armpit. In the last month, the Buellton CHP office handled 53 collisions. Officers say two of those involved children who were not restrained in car seats or seat belts. In the last several months, we've noticed a, I would say, triple the amount of collisions involving unrestrained children and then also just our officers here in this area when they're making traffic enforcement stops they're noticing that a lot of parents aren't restraining their kids. The National Highway Traffic Safety Agency recommends following manufacturer instructions on car seats if they're involved in a crash and to never use car seats after they've been involved in moderate to severe crashes. Typical mistakes for car seat installation that you can see are that they are installed in an improper seat. Uh, when you have a convertible seat, which can be going from rear facing to forward facing, sometimes they'll use the wrong belt path. CHP recommends making sure the car seat, once installed, cannot move more than an inch and that there is enough space between the seat in front of it so it can ride down in the case of a crash. California law requires children under two to be in a rear facing car seat unless they weigh 40 pounds or more and are at least 40 inches tall. After that, they can be put in a forward facing seat, but must be restrained in an appropriate car seat or booster until they are eight years old or four foot nine inches tall. Once you turn them around and have them forward facing, uh, the child is going to experience the same thing any adult would in an auto accident where they could potentially get whiplash. Anyone 16 years or older must abide by California's mandatory seatbelt law. And the CHP recommends people check the expiration date on the seat belts just, or excuse me, on the car seat just so everybody knows when they do expire. And they recommend battening down any loose objects because in the case of a collision, it can hit people riding in the car. Live in the newsroom, Erin Fay, KSBY News. All great advice. Thanks, Erin. A child passenger safety technician can help make sure your car seats are installed properly. CHP offices offer this service along with some local emergency rooms or fire departments but it's recommended to call ahead and make an appointment.